Here we have a 2008 on an 08 registration Volvo B12 BT Yonkia JHV70 57 seat executive coach. We are advertising this vehicle on behalf of Southeast Coaches uh, down in Essex. A vehicle that's familiar to me because I sold it to them. Uh, its previous owner was Ridley's Coaches in Warwick, so it's not had a bad life in the last few years. Certainly not wanted for anything. You can see, obviously, it's an ex Lox and Glens originally, uh, but you can see it's very straight on the body, finished in white. It's ready to just literally inspect, stick a disc in, stick on the road. It's got a power operated centre continental door fitted, alloy wheels. It's had a lot of work done to it recently, this vehicle. Um, under the bonnet, Euro 4 12 litre, 420 horsepower Volvo engine. That's recently had a full set of injectors, amongst other things. Uh, it's driven through Volvo's 12 speed automated eye shift gearbox. Reverse cameras fitted. There's a little bit of a mark just on the back corner here, but listen, that's no, is it? Superficial. Other than that, body works in really good condition. Ski lockers fitted, I very much doubt you'd be sending this on a ski job these days, but there they mind you, I know some that would, and I've no doubt it'd make it. You've got massive luggage on these, obviously you've got the height and you've got the length, so huge luggage, uh, parallel opening lockers, so you're not going to struggle for any space there. Uh, it has had brand new mirrors fitted as well, that's something to do with the ball joints on the old mirrors. The only other bit of a knock is that little bit where it looks like it's just caught the kerb or been grounded there. As we jump on board, 57 Fainza Gala reclining seat, still in original maquette. I actually like this trim, to be honest. It's, uh, I don't like, you know, the newer locks and glens have the brighter red. I don't, I'm not too keen on that, but I like this sort of more, setting more towards a wine red. That's probably why I like it. Three point seat belts are fitted, center armrest as well on the uh, Fianza Galas. Seats are all in good nick. There's no sort of, you wouldn't even dream of, of trimming these. Unless you found the colour really offensive, obviously. But uh, to me, there's nothing wrong with them. The majority of the nets are still here, albeit a bit saggy these days, but, you know, it's 15 year old, what do you expect? Carpet to the aisle. We've got shared centre sunken toilet unit with hot drinks facility, standard yonk fitting. Uh, we're also wired for DVD with two monitors. That, to me, looks like once upon a time it was possibly a motorised unit, but obviously these days it's just down and fixed. Thermaking air conditioning on this vehicle, but uh, for a vehicle of this age and this, you know, well, this age really, it's very, very, very well presented. Back to the dashboard, and all that is in pretty good order. The only thing I've noticed is the little toggly switch on the side of the uh, gear selectors missing, but sometimes that might just, just be a good thing because it's something that doesn't get played with then. The one thing that might just put you off is it's just done over a million kilometres. But let's be honest, there's National Express vehicles, a former National Express vehicles, half the age of this vehicle, done more, more miles, double the miles of, uh, of this one. And, as I said, there's a file in the office that's got all the history of all the jobs that's been done whilst it's been here. I know it was looked after at Ridley's. Um, I sell a lot of Jordan stuff and have very, very few issues, if any. Um, we've got a fridge in the dashboard. Courier seat, but as I said, for the, for your money, as long as 13.8 metres doesn't put you off, 
I don't think you can complain. So to recap, it's 2008 on an 08, Volvo B12B, Yonkia GHV70, 57 seat executive coach.